Hello, I'm Chris Simmons and welcome back to The Size of Our Shoes. This program is dedicated to action, awareness, and advocacy regarding climate change. Happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this from the States. <laughs> On today's episode, let's talk about plastic and this awful throwaway culture. Now, don't get me wrong. Plastic has been one of humankind's greatest inventions. Fake light was cheap and durable, making industrial innovations available to pretty much any developed or developing nation. But around the 1970s, the plastic industry took to producing plastics that would only be used a single time before being discarded. Thus, the birth of the single-use plastic. And this stuff is everywhere. Single-use plastics, or SUPs if you're edgy, include cigarette butts, plastic drinking bottles, and takeout containers. The reality of it is it's unlikely that any of us can go a whole day without disregarding at least one piece of single-use plastic. Just making plastics is energy intensive. Superheating crude oil, shipping resources, running injection molding machines, packaging, shipping again, all said, every 1.5 liter container of PET plastics, which includes plastic bottles and takeout containers, produces about a half a pound of CO2. Damn, that's what I'm saying. And even after all of that energy, it just gets discarded, filling up our landfills or our oceans, breaking down into microplastics, while only 9% actually get recycled. In cities, plastic takes on its own set of problems. Plastic bags clog drains which cause flooding and lead to a growth in pest population. All said, the annual tax cost of cleaning the world's plastic is $15 billion a year. Now, let's talk action. You see, in this sustainability puzzle, not all pieces are created equally. Recycling is great, but the most important piece is reduce. Reduce plastics every chance that you get. Straws, bottles, and toothbrushes all have reusable, affordable, and plastic-free alternatives. Buy in bulk to reduce package waste whenever possible, and cook more to reduce your use of takeout containers. Of course, if you have the ability to affect some communal change, then do it. This includes restaurants switching to plastic-free straws and asking about utensils on takeout orders. If you don't need to include them, then don't. And office buildings. Replace single-use plastics with cups or mugs in the break room and clearly outline your recycling policy so your employees know what goes where when it's done. We need a second industrial revolution, one where corporations recognize and offer solutions to waste reduction, and where consumers are actively part of those solutions. Corporations, and politicians for that matter, are not going to change because they've been allowed to survive in this system for so long. The change has to start from the bottom, with our everyday decisions to conserve. Our single-use society must be yesterday's news. Big or small, what will you do for a waste-free tomorrow? Thank you all so much for watching. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what you do to reduce plastic waste in your own life, big or small. I'm especially interested if you're a restaurant or factory owner. Who knows, maybe someday your idea could be an industry standard. The first step is getting it out there. 
If you found some value in this episode, please like, subscribe, and share. As always, be well.